Hey guys, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. It's going to be a bit of a festive one. I'm taking you through a holiday wear haul. And these are going to be pieces that range right from the more formal wear occasion. So perhaps if you have a really nice work you to go to and you're wanting to get really dolled up, right to the more relaxed outfits where you just might be lounging at home, but perhaps you still want to look good and feel good, but not necessarily be in head to toe sparkle. And I'm going to be showing you the full outfits in the mirror behind me like I would my weekly outfits. I'm hoping to show you about seven or maybe eight outfits because I know at this time of the year things are so hectic. There are so many events going on, so many people to see, a family to visit, and sometimes the whole outfit decision making can get a little bit stressful. So I really like to have some outfits set aside in my wardrobe to make life a little bit easier. And on the note of making things a little bit easier, today's video is actually sponsored by ShopTagger, which is essentially a money saving app. And you just shop online like you usually would, and then you can save items that you have picked out that you would like to purchase but you're waiting for them to go into sale save them into a wish list and ShopTagger will do all the hard work for you they will send you a push notification when it goes into sale or if it gets discounted alerting you straight away when it does which usually means that you're not missing out on a really good item and it also saves you a lot of time if you like I used to used to sit on my laptop and refresh the pages uh, to see if it has gone into the sale yet and I have my laptop just here so that I can show you guys how to download and use the app so you can save yourself both time and money which is so precious at this time of the year but just before I do they also have a holiday giveaway going on at the moment for a thousand dollars it's running until the 14th of December it's eligible for people who have already got shop tagger so you can still enter but also if you haven't got the app you just have to sign up and all you have to do is have two things tagged and it's literally as simple as that so let's get into showing you how to use the app. Okay, so the link in the description will take you to ShopTagger's homepage. And I'm gonna go ahead and log in because I already have an account, but if you don't have one, this is when you would create one. And once I'm logged in, it takes me to my dashboard and you can hear, see here a few items which are saved. But the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to the bottom left-hand corner and click get the button and then get the free button. And it's gonna download an extension for you here, add to Chrome add extension and once that's downloaded you will have the shop tagger browser button just up here in your taskbar so let me show you how that one works and to do that I'm going to go over here to stores and head to you guys have probably guessed it one of my favorite stores mango now I've just had a little bit of a browse and I really love this cardigan here is one that I definitely would like to purchase so I'm going to go up to my shop tagger button and then it gives me a few options so I can select my size and when to notify me. I usually pick any price change, however you can do it to 25% or 50%. And then you can also choose your list which is a really easy way to organize all of your items. I'm gonna put this one into fashion. I keep mine really simple and easy, stuff that I'd like and also stuff for the home. And then just go ahead and save it. And then going back to Shop Tagger, you'll be able to see now on my dashboard that that one comes up as the last item that I have saved. And just over here to the left hand side, you can see the list. I'll just show you a sneak peek. These are all of the fashion items that I've been saving recently. And then if I click off that one, I also have home. This is a really easy way to organize all of your items, all of the things that you'd like to purchase. Keeps it all in one place. And I love how easy it is to use. And then the other feature which I just want to quickly show you if I pop back to Mango and say I did really want to go ahead and just straight away buy this cardigan. I can't wait. I'm going to add it to the shopping bag and they've got this amazing thing if I check out here. So as I have entered my shopping bag, this coupon finder has come up to the side and I am certainly feeling lucky. So I'm going to give it a go and what it's going to do is it's going to search the web for lots of different discount codes and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to find me one. And thankfully it has, I can see over here that it has saved me four pounds today and that has automatically added it to my shopping. So I hope you found that useful. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna leave the link to download Shop Tagger down in the description and I'm gonna get on with the outfits because I'm sure you might wanna save some of these pieces to your wish lists. 
Starting with this outfit I have on. This is probably one of my go-to outfits at this time of the year. It feels put together, a little bit smart and sophisticated with just a little bit of twinkle to it with this top. I just adore this one. It's not too gold, it's not too silver, it's this lovely champagne color. I really like that the neck isn't too high and though it's got a little bit of glitz, it's not at all uncomfortable. It actually feels really warm and like something that I would be able to wear out both during the day, this would be lovely for a Christmas market, or equally you could wear it with a pair of heels in the evening so it becomes a really versatile piece. And it's quite a nice fit that is quite slim fitting as you can see on the arms but it's not too tight, it's not kind of unflattering. The really nice thing about it is that it's got this part to it here which just pulls you in slightly so that you can easily tuck it under something like this and you're not getting loads of ripples so it actually goes a little bit slimmer around the waistband. And then going on to the waistband, these trousers which I've just picked up and are just my absolute favourites. They're definitely a classic investment for my wardrobe, but I'm hoping that I will have these for years to come. They've got this lovely waistband, which just pulls you in a little bit, and I loved the colour of these. They're this gorgeous, almost grey toned beige that I feel like will go with so much in my wardrobe, and then I've paired it off with these white boots just with a little bit of a heel. I thought that the heel went quite nicely with the whole outfit and just paired it in a little bit whilst keeping it quite neutral and the pointy toe of these make them really elegant and kind of elongate just to show you guys they come up to about there on my ankle and I picked these partly because of the coat and scarf which I will show you now. There you go, I feel like the coat just pulls it all together with the boots and then I've also just chucked on a scarf for when it's a little bit cold. This one, so many of you guys picked up last season from H&M Cashmere. It's so soft but at a really reasonable price. And I am literally good to go out the door with this one for so many different occasions. Literally it's this kind of look repeated quite a few times throughout the Christmas period. Now we're getting a little bit more dressed up with this one. So this is probably one for the night owls, as I say. However, I feel like this dress is actually really versatile and that's why I picked it personally. Because I've definitely got to that age where I don't want to be spending loads of money on outfits that I'm just going to wear once and then not particularly wear again. But oh my gosh, just look at this absolutely stunning dress. So it is covered in pearls and little sequins. I love the color and I also love the style of it. Let me take off the coat and show you. But I just wanted to say that for me personally, if I was going out in something like this, I definitely used to be able to go out in late December in just a little dress, but I'd pair it with a really big long coat to keep me warm, but not too many things like a scarf, or a jacket, things that can get lost and you just don't want to leave all over the place. But let's, let's look at the main show, which is the dress. So here's the dress without the jacket on and there's just something about it that makes it not feel too mini. I love the little spaghetti straps and also just how it goes right across here. I feel like I picked this one up in a medium, but I will leave that linked below just so that it was that little bit bigger on me. I quite like that it's got that oversized feel to it. And though it's not too oversized, it's not at all clingy anywhere, but in quite a flattering way. And all of the beads and sequins are just so fun. I hope that you can see that all over the dress. And it's in a kind of ivory white, so it's not too stark. I just think that this is the most gorgeous dress which could also be dressed down. So if you're not going out over the festive season, if partying just isn't your thing, which let me tell you, it's, it's pretty much me nowadays. You could wear this with a lovely cream polo neck underneath and some tights and boots and wear it day to day. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you could get a lot of wear out of. And as you can see from the back, it just drops slightly, um, but it's definitely not too low. It's pretty easy to wear, I think, of all ages. And then I opted for boots on my feet, these mint velvet ones, which match perfectly in color, uh, simply because they're very, very easy to walk in and they keep my toesies lovely and warm, which is pretty much my main priority at this time of the year. 
and this is my most dressed up outfit. As you can see, a lot of sequins, but I absolutely adore the colour of this one. I went for this one in the gorgeous brown. But first we'll chat about the coat because you need a coat this time of year. And Mango just does. Oh, you guys know my absolute favourite coats. I love this one because I wear it in the day and it looks amazing. But it equally looks so chic of an evening. Partly because you can tie it right over. You'll keep lovely and cosy and warm. It's got this really lovely swoop to the neckline. And then I can just tie it in in the middle. And it cinches you in so you're not feeling too frumpy. You're still feeling really gorgeous, especially as you've got some heels on. And it's nice because sometimes the coat can let an outfit down of an evening, but I feel like this one just totally makes it. Looks absolutely gorgeous at the back too when it's all done up. And obviously it's a really practical piece because it's not just for an evening. This is something that you will wear all of the time. And I paired it with this dress because I loved how the buttons kind of tied in with the brown of the underneath. But let's whack it off and have a look at the dress. I do become quite a bit of a magpie at this time of the year. And I just love something a little bit glitzy. This one does have quite a plunging neckline. But it's really tight so you're not going to be falling out at all. I feel really comfortable in it. I don't feel like it's too low. However, I feel like it just makes it that little bit young. It's got these really gorgeous sleeves to it which are just a little bit cropped. I think that's lovely for an evening, especially if you're eating. And then it's actually kind of, it really pulls you in at the waist and you can wrap it here. I've actually not tied it up or bowed it. I've just kind of like folded it over so that it drapes down. I thought that it looked a little bit more flattering, but it does kind of just have this tiny little bit of a ruche. And then it goes to below the knee. And if I just move that aside, it does have just this tiny little slit to it at the front, but nothing too much. I mean, you can barely see it especially if you're not walking and it's quite slim fitting towards the bottom but because of that little opening you can easily move and you could also dance the night away in this one if you were wanting to dance and then to the back if you can just see it's got a slight opening where it just buttons at the top and then it also kind of pulls you in obviously because of the front at the back too and I've gone for my Zara shoes, which I feel like are just the most flattering heels because they really elongate the leg as they are clear. I bought these in the summer, but actually I saw them in my last Zara haul. They still have them in. They, they're just so flattering instead of having something quite clumpy on your feet. Next up, I definitely paired this outfit because of this slip dress but I wanted to just dress it down slightly for something that perhaps personally I might wear for date night, something where I was a little bit dressed up but also felt kind of casual and relaxed. Now this slip dress is probably one of my favorite slip dresses because I often find them quite unflattering, especially around the waist area, but because of all of the gorgeous ruches on this one, it's not like kind of like sticking to you um, and kind of making you feel kind of uncomfortable. That's how I often feel in a slip dress. And I've dressed it down with this blazer. You could definitely go for a blazer which was a little bit more dressed up. Perhaps a nice black one which had a tux feel to it. But I wanted to create a bit more of a relaxed vibe. And this blazer is quite nice because it has a few light colours going through it. Which I feel like picks up on this gorgeous like a kind of pinky colour. And then to match with all of that I've paired it with my suede boots. Which you guys know I absolutely love. It ties in quite well with the grey. They're easy to walk in. They are keeping me pretty warm but I will just show you the slip dress with the jacket off because it has a really gorgeous back if you did want to wear it a little bit more dressed up. So as you can just see it crosses over at the back there and then it bows at the bottom and I got this one a size up. I think I got it in the medium but I will leave all of the information below because I just I wanted the ruches to be really pretty and so that I could just feel super comfortable in it. And I feel like it just shows off curves really, really beautifully. One thing you may want to keep in mind though is that I'm not wearing a bra with it because of that back. Um, and I think it's probably too low to be able to wear one. So if you did want to purchase it, uh, just keep that in mind. This outfit I have picked out for the day that I absolutely do not want to get out of my pajamas, but I have to and I need to look a little bit more presentable because I pretty much feel like I still am in my pajamas. 
it is so soft and so comfortable and you guys will be knowing that I've been absolutely loving knit dresses and this one is kind of no exception but I picked it up because the other ones that I have from this season are a little bit more on the high end side and this is one that I feel like I don't mind so much like lounging on the sofa in. Obviously you don't want to be wearing a lot of nice wool dresses while you're just lounging around perhaps like playing with the kids in the family or the dogs. So it just feels a little little bit more practical but it still feels quality wise just as nice I love all of the ribbed effect over it the neck is not too high it's just a really nice length the arms are actually full length but I've just rolled them up slightly and I have paired it with a belt but you bet as soon as I have a meal and we're on the sofa that would absolutely be coming off and this one does have a slip to the side just a little one and then on my feet I have gone quite practical because my family do a lot of walking throughout the Christmas period and I decided to go for my biker boots so that they were flat I can wear these in mud I can walk for miles in them and just feel really comfortable and of course I haven't paired this one with a coat because I just felt like you can fling on at absolutely any coat with this outfit and it will still look good you can wear a much more outdoorsy coat if you're going to be walking can't you Benson <laughs> or something a little bit more dressed up if you want it for something a little bit more glam I think he likes this one what do you think yep good dog approved outfit <laughs> I've kept this outfit really simple if I'm ever in doubt I always go for a jumpsuit. Jumpsuits make me feel really, really super confident, but they also give me that kind of semi-relaxed vibe where I feel like I'm never gonna be overdressed, but still I feel really put together. I'm not quite sure how they do it. You guys may also know that I've been loving this kind of tux look to things, and that is exactly what this little black jumpsuit is all about. So it has this really pretty collar, and I love the sleeve to it. And it really cinches in at the waist with these four kind of gorgeous double breasted buttons. It feels really flattering on this top half. It just feels like it's been cut and made really beautifully. And then as you come down, you do have the pockets, which are such a bonus on a jumpsuit. I absolutely love, love, love them. Um, and it just kind of like, it gives you that little bit of room, but it's not like it's in a very flattering way. They're not too proof poofy. They've just got a little pleat here, which creates a really flattering silhouette. And they fall down quite straight. And then they're just slightly cropped to the bottom. And I have opted for some black boots because this is one of my more dressed down looks. To be honest, something that I would even wear in the day. And these are just that perfect boot. If you like things that are a little bit cropped, but you don't want that awkward kind of like hanging out ankle situation, they just fall at the most perfect length. And I think that they look really flattering on. I wear these all of the time during the day. You guys will have definitely seen these if you follow me a bit. But that is kind of the jumpsuit in full. Certainly something you could dress up or dress down. And it's quite a nice go-to um, sometimes during, I don't know, whenever, whatever month. I might feel a little bit like, oh, I just I can't. I'm not sure if I want to go to this event. I don't feel like putting on a pretty dress. I don't feel like putting on something white. This is like that absolute great go-to. You feel kind of like chic, you feel stylish, but you also feel like you've just rocked up being like, yeah, this was super effortless. Mm -hmm. Probably knowing me, it will have taken me still hours to get ready um, for a coat. And I think for the shoes for this one, you could dress it up and dress it down. You could pair this one with some gorgeous heels and it would really elevate the look. And the same with the coat, I think I would put it on with this one. This is one of my favorite coats at the moment. It's so snuggly. Part of the reason why I picked it is because it would be really, really warm with this jumpsuit, which obviously doesn't have much warmth to it because it's not knit, it's just a single layer. And then I think it makes it just that little bit more glam with the fur. However, if you wanted to wear this one in the day, tuck it on with your everyday coat. This polka dot number has to be one of my absolute favorites. I absolutely adore it on. And it's got that really nice feel to it where it feels kind of relaxed. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more demure, um, perhaps you're having a meal with all of your family, but you wanna be dressed up, you wanna have a nice dress, then I think this is like the perfect go-to item. It's in this gorgeous, it's like quite a silky material. It's actually navy and it's got a 
bit of a like blush pink polka dot on it. You may not be able to see, but it just has like a little bit of a stitching going through here where it pulls you in slightly under the bust but not too much and then the arms are just slightly poofed and I find it really flattering how it kind of like skims the body it is definitely lined which I think gives it this gorgeous swish especially to the bottom but the nice thing about that is that it's just not at all like it's not sticking to my body it doesn't feel like it's going to be static and kind of like uncomfortable it just moves really really lovely and the length on it I just think is really perfect if you're looking for something quite elegant and you may have spotted these boots which you know I'm just going to be wearing all of the time but I thought it would be quite nice to show a few items that go with a lot of the outfits because it's nice to mix and match it throughout the season. You don't wanna be buying everything new. It just shows how many outfits that these boots go with and also that you can really pair things up that perhaps may already be in your wardrobe. Um, just to show you this one at the back, it is actually like fully closed at the back too. And I just think looks so elegant. This outfit is a comfy, cozy one that I will be wearing at home quite often during Christmas. I love a big oversized cardigan. This one is so snuggly and I love all of this like gorgeous detail that it has over the sleeves and it also has it down the bottom of the body too. And because it's chunky, it's super, super warm, but I think it also just looks really nice. It's the kind of item that you could pair perhaps with loungewear underneath or if you were going out about a nice walk it would just look so nice for so many occasions I have popped a little clip in my hair I feel like this is a little hack for that time of the year where maybe you don't want to do too much to your hair you just pop a little something in and it kind of jazzes the outfit up a little bit I feel like it just makes it look like you've made it a little bit more of an effort for the top I've gone for one that just paired really nicely color wise this is one that I've had for a little while now it's from H&M it's just got a little bit of lace over it which I think is really pretty and feminine and it's almost in this like beigey pink color which is actually quite warming to the skin tone and it's really a super super soft and comfortable and then for trousers i have on these jeans which are from mango and they're actually like the leather effect and they are so comfortable they are really really comfortable they honestly feel almost like i have leggings in i picked these up in a size 8 i did order originally in the size 10 and they were far too big so i've just had these new in for this haul and i just adore them because they are so so stretchy and i know with the color and the look of them i will be able to wear them a huge amount but I can wear them whilst I'm on the sofa and just absolutely relaxing. And then on my feeties, I just have some basic zippers on, which I have had for a little while from HomeSense. I feel like HomeSense are the best place to pick up some zippers. And hopefully that gave you some festive wear outfits. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. As always, I will have everything linked down below in the description, as well as the link for ShopTagger. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.